We have sweet potato pie coming your way. We've got a crust, flaky, no sodium pie crust. Is a video on my channel. Instructions are there for you. Get your pie crust ready. We're going to roll out our pie crust. If you use a damp towel with parchment paper, then it stops that towel from sliding around. My pie pan is a 9 inch, so I want this to be big enough to go all the way in. Roll it out. You can get as fancy as you want to with the pie crust. I just never have done that. I just take my fork and go around and make a little design. I have two beaten eggs in this bowl. To this bowl goes one cup dark brown sugar packed, quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, Half a teaspoon of cinnamon in the bowl, half a cube of unsalted butter, two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, two tablespoons of all purpose flour, three quarters cup of milk. of yams that were cooked and mashed. These were in my freezer. I did them a couple weeks ago because I knew what I was going to be making. I love using yams because the sodium is so low. You can beat all this stuff together. The butter was at room temperature. I'm going to put this inside my pan. Bake it at 350. I have this little shield that I'm going to put on top of it. Put it in my oven in about the middle of the oven. And we'll check it. If you don't have a shield, a little bit of aluminum foil on the top will do the trick. Bake your pie at 350 degrees until a knife inserted in the middle comes out clean. My pies have more filling than most pies do. It comes all the way up to the top. It took one hour in 25 minutes until the knife came out clean. Cool your pie on a rack, Ready Whip, and my store's extra creamy dairy whipped topping has no sodium. When the pie gets cool, transfer it to the refrigerator we're not adding salt for preservative. It can be frozen if needed. The whole pie has got 234 milligrams of sodium. If it's cut into six pieces, it's 39 milligrams each. Eight servings would be 30 milligrams each. We are going to have good pie for dessert tonight.